Hey guys, so let's have a look at method two. So you'll see that in front of me, I have a hundred square. Now a hundred square is when we have numbers that start at one and they go all the way to 100. And you'll see that they have 10 going across. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we've made 10 and we have to start a new line. So we move to 11. You can see it's got one, one. Okay, not here we had one, one, but one, ten. And you can see all the numbers in this line have got one, ten. They're lazy T numbers. Okay, and as you go along, the ones get bigger. Okay, now you can download a hundred square from our school website, or from you might be able to search one online, or you could make your own children. You could make your own by writing the numbers one to a hundred. That would be a good challenge. So children, we're going to use a hundred square to help us, and it's a good way to start practicing parents crossing the tens barriers. So for example, um, if we had 11 take away six, we know we're going to be crossing the tens barrier. Now that can be quite difficult for children, thinking what number comes before that 10. Okay, so it's a good thing to practice and it's good to have this in front of them so they can have a visual and they can always think about it in their heads and then they can check. Let's have a go at doing 11 take away 6. So children, what would we do first with our 100 square? Yes, we need to find the biggest number because we're starting with 11. So I'm going to circle 11 and I'm going to find it in my 100 square. Now I know that 11 has got 1, 1 and 1, 10. So here's my 1. So it's going to be all these numbers down here have 1, 1. So it must be in here. And I know it has 1, 10. Oh, this number is 11 because it was 1, 1 and 1, 10. And I'm going to circle 11. Now I am taking away 6, taking away. So I know I'm counting back. I'm going backwards. Okay, so we need to count back. So we're going to take away 6. So we're at 11 and I go back to the next number. And 11 take away 1 is 10. So we have 11 and I'm going to go 1, 2, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's six, I've taken away six. And I can always dot it to help me or do number lines as well. So I've got 11 and I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. I've taken away six. Okay, or I can do my number lines. I can go 11, take away 1 is 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 11, take away 6. I finish at 5. I know my answer must be 5. Okay, let's have a go at another one, children. Okay, let's have a go at doing 20, take away 4. 20 subtract 4. Can you do write the number sentence for that, children? 20, 20. Oh, we know it's got a T, teacup, so it must have a teacup at the end as a zero. And 20. Oh, I can count in my tens, children. 10, 20. Oh, how many tens? Two. So there's two tens and my teacup. So 20. Take away. I need my take away, my subtraction operation. My take away sign, four. 20 take away four. So children, you could have a go on this if you've got 100 square. Okay, what do we do first? Yes, we're going to find the biggest number. That's the number we start with. That's how many we have. So we have 20. Oh, and I've got all my, num all my T numbers here, all my T cups going down here. 10, 20. So I circle 20. And I need to go count back four, four jumps. So I'm going to count back four jumps. So watch what I do, children. I go one, two, three, four. And I can check. I want to make sure, children, I have taken away four. So let's check there's four jumps. So it's one, two, three, four. Or I can dot it. One, two, three, four. And I've landed on 16. 
So 20 take away 4 is 16. Fantastic. Let's have a go at one more, children. And this time we're going to cross the teams out. So let's have a go at 14. 14 take away 5. Take away 5. What are we going to do first, children? Yes, we circle our biggest number because that's how many we have and we find it on our 100 square. Now I know it's going to have there's four ones. So if I go across, there's one one, two ones, three ones, four ones. I can go down here. Yes, there's 14. It's got a lazy team. So I'm going to circle 14. And I need to count back five. So we can do our jumps from to the five. So we're going to go one, two, three. And now I need to go back here because I'm going back to so at three. Four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. I've landed on nine. Okay, I've landed on nine. And I can check I've taken away five. I could do my dots. So my 14, one, two, three, four, five. The answer is nine. That's method two, children. Well done, guys. Fantastic. You can have a go at doing that, can't you?